I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking to you about fake Laramar and how to identify it because I think most people in the industry would probably agree with me at this point. Most of what's available on the market today is fake, replicated, synthesized, or just bogus in one way or another. Now, what is Laramar? So Laramar is basically pectolite. Pectolite is a mineral that comes exclusively from the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. It's mined just along the border with Haiti. Now, it's also referred to as Stephelia stone. You'll hear it referred to as stone of Atlantis. You'll hear it referred to as various different sort of names, subnames, synonyms. It only comes from the Domin Dominican Republic. You can't get it anywhere else. It's unisource in every sense of the word. Now, they'll synthesize it or they'll replicate it. They'll replicate it by, it's very valuable because it's quite difficult to get, hence why there's an incentive for people to synthesize it or replicate it. When they replicate it, what they basically do is they'll get things like dyed howlite, howlite and they'll dye it blue, or magnesite, and again, they'll dye it blue. Generally, when these are not being sold as Laramara, they're referred to as blue howlite or blue magnesite, um, or they'll dye chalcedony. Or if they are synthesizing it, what they can do is they can do it in a lab, in which case it will look fairly convincing because it more or less will be the same thing. It just won't be a genuine article and it will, in every sense of the word, be synthesized. So it will look real, but um, there will still be sort of discernible characteristics that will make a professional realize that it's not genuine. The Up until this point, Laramar, or at least fake Laramar, has been fairly easy to spot. The reason why I've felt it necessary to make this video is because they are getting better. I've seen one. I saw one the other day, which I actually bought. I knew it was fake, but I bought it because I wanted to showcase it. And then I carried it in my pocket to the gym and then it fell out. So sadly, I don't actually have it to show you. But it was a very impressive fake Laramar. And if I had not spent time looking over the larger batch until I found one which where the mask kind of slipped and I noticed a very obvious, discernible, synthetic characteristic, I would have actually bought the batch. Um, so with, with Laramar, it sort of has a mottled effect. Uh, which is sort of areas of blue which are separated or, or there are sort of septum between um, which is sort of characterized by a more subtle blue or a lighter blue maybe a baby blue now this is quite difficult to replicate especially if you're just sort of dyeing something like howlite or magnesite or chalcedony which doesn't really have this sort of mottled effect to it now what they seem to have been doing or what i could kind of discern from the synthetic that i'd picked up which was at closer inspection an obvious synthetic but to the lay which most people are, most people would have fallen for this Laramar. It appeared to be, to be a material, difficult to tell because it had been glazed, uh, a material, possibly something like chalcedony, which had been loosely, um, it was like a composite. So the material had been sort of pushed together in an industrial press or some kind of pressing material, but quite loosely. And then it had been glazed. So it had that similar sort of uh, luster, it had the mottled effect because where it had been glazed in between the loose um, composition of the materials, uh, it looked very, very, very convincing. Uh, it wouldn't have scratch tested properly. Uh, there would have been various other things that if you tested it, it would have stuck out like a sore thumb. But the important thing to take away is the fact that most people don't know how to test things. So there's most of what's on the market at the moment is fake. Laramar does not come from China. I want to make this absolutely clear. Um, so when you see people selling things as Chinese Laramar, that's asinine. It doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. Um, when you see people selling things like um, like blue aragonite, which I see quite quite regularly, uh, aragonite is a calcium carbonate. It, it doesn't it doesn't even vaguely resemble Laramar beyond the fact that it's blue. Um, so if you're if the only real characteristic characteristic that's even vaguely similar is the fact that it's blue, you're going to fight a losing battle and you're going to lose that battle really quickly because there's loads of different minerals that are blue. So all I would really say to people is uh, be careful. Uh, Laramar is an expensive mineral as well. So if someone is selling you Laramar and you're like, oh, that's affordable, it's fake. Like it's fake. It's as simple as that. It's almost. It's not quite as up there as when people say to me, "Oh, I bought a pigeon blood ruby earlier on today." I don't even need to ask them. I just like know before they even told me how much money they've paid for it that you haven't. <laughs> so Laramar is kind of escalating to the point with that kind of absurdity. So be very careful because most of what I'm seeing on the internet, especially, is 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 fake. But I have also seen it in shops. 
Um, so even sellers um, who you would assume would be quite credible are falling for this as well. They're either falling for it or they're just trying to get away with it. Not everyone that's doing it is being nefarious. A lot of people will just not know any better. It's a fairly complex and fairly cryptic cryptic subject. So it's uh, you can't really expect everyone, especially if their sort of framework for um, enthusiasm for minerals is something like metaphysics, for example. Just because someone knows a lot about metaphysics, that doesn't mean they're even vaguely qualified in mineralogy. So just be on the lookout, I'd say.